Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. We're asking ourselves, what does the fox say as we take you on a tour of Black Fox Lodge Pigeon Forge, part of the tapestry collection by Hilton. We'll show you the room, play around at the pool, give a full hotel tour, take a glimpse of the hotel at night, and present our final review. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. We're at the Black Fox Lodge. This is a Hilton hotel. It's super nice, so nice. It's like being in like a lodge. You've got that wolf, or I guess the fox, the Black Fox logo, which I really like that. That is cool. our room. This is our first time seeing it. These are pretty cool cards. They give all the information about timings for the hotel and where the ice machine is. So I love this logo with the fox. So let's go in. First time seeing the room. I'm excited. And it's very dark. We're gonna need some lights on. Let's see. There we go. Oh wow. This is beautiful look at that couch and that's a sleeper sofa so you can pull it out and take a nap on it or if you have an extra person they can sleep on it but this is really nice now these hotel rooms range from about at least at the time of our coming about 185 to about 200 so you got a 42 inch tv you got a coffee maker you got some coffee pods down here and they look like they are Great Smoky Mountain breakfast blend. Hmm, makes sense for here. Got some nice ooh, little nature looking cups. I like those. Uh, you got your ice bucket. Let's see what's in here. Got a microwave. We need some WD-40 in here. Uh, let's see, fridge, little mini fridge. And there's some bottled water in there. <laughs> I'm assuming the last person who stayed in here left those, but I mean, they're closed bottles, so free water for us. That's awesome. So let's keep moving. Got a footstool. I guess you can use that with the couch. And that would be the bathroom, I'm assuming, along with a closet. So let's see what's in the closet. So you got your iron, got some extra sheets, I guess. Pillows, hangers, your luggage rack, and your ironing board. Nice use of space in here too. This is very nice. So you got, we've got two queen beds. We used hot wire, so we didn't know what kind of room we would be getting. Some nice little like, I, I'd say these are very Pigeon Forge, gatlinburg s type pictures. And they're very fall-ish. This place reminds me of somewhere you would go in the fall. And I wonder if we've got a, I wonder if this is out to the pool. And then, yeah, oh, we've got another TV. Reminds me a lot of our room, just more, I guess, woodsy and everything, but our room at the Drury Hotel in Franklin, Tennessee, and I love this light. Let's see, does it light up? No, it does not light up there. Housekeeping service. Uh, that was left from the last person. Yeah, not necessarily the best cleaning job. Seems to be something we've run into in Pigeon Forge, though. The cabinet. Let's see out this window. Interested to see. Ooh, we do have a we have a pool view. That is nice. Nice little sitting area, and that's the uh, fire pit. Ooh. Now some people do have river views out the back, and some people do have porches too. Ours does not have a porch, um, but you'll see that on the outside. So let's check out the bathroom. Now for the bathroom. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, that's not the light for the bathroom. That's the light for the bathroom. I love those shelves with the towels on them. You got the toilet, you got a bathtub over here. Just a normal everyday bathtub. Nice sink, got the tissues and over here, there's some body lotion, verbena and lavender, and shampoo. These are nice. 
Crabtree and Evelyn. I've actually heard of this brand. A lot of times, hotels have the most random brands. You got some makeup remover wipes and ooh, nice facial soap. That is a really nice little box. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. We open it up and pour it on out. Eh, just normal soap, but I bet it smells good. And the lights do glow at night, so you got a night light. That's cool. Got some more towels down there and a trash can. So yeah, and this is a nice light fixture. I like it. So overall, very, very nice room. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. And we got some free water on accident, I think. I also just found the hair dryer. It was down in this shelf. So it was just hidden away, but there is a hair dryer. So the shower has different settings and I didn't notice it till this morning when I actually took a shower. Switch it. See? So well, that's pretty cool if you're staying here. Something for you to know. Parking is free and there is no valet parking. Tapestry collection by Hilton Hotels are independent, yet still part of Hilton. If you agree with me on this, leave a comment down below. But I think this, these pillows look like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man suit. Specifically the Tobey Maguire one. So here's the pool area, and we've got some seating area, so you could take your stuff from the restaurant out here. There's a fire pit, and they do have fire pit controls. We gotta turn that on later. And yeah, just a, these are really cool. I like these seats right here. Very cool. Now they're probably soaking wet right now. <laughs> and the workout room's in there. But yeah, I love these lights. They're just really cool. But the pool is down this way. And you've got a water slide. You've got a giant mushroom that spills water down on you. So yeah, this is the pool down right here. Very nice, very nice. It looks like there's a grilling area over there. Let's head over there. So in the pool, they do have a shower. So you don't have to shower in your room before you get in. It's neat. The mushroom's really cool. Plenty of seating out here too. And the Walgreens in the background. Yeah, we'll take a look at the grill area and we'll have some fun in the pool as well. Because I love going down those slides like that. Yeah, they got a sink over here and a grill. This is the nicest, like I've never seen this at a hotel where a hotel provides this. That is cool. And it's just kind of crazy. You're grilling, you're grilling here and there's Walgreens right in the background. <laughs> oh, those kind of things always make me laugh. Rosie, you ready to go in the mushroom? Ready? Let's go. It's only two feet here. Plus, oh, it's cold. That is some cold water. Look at this mushroom. <laughs> Too cold for Rosie. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go under there. This water is like super freezing cold. <laughs> I might have to go down the slide first. There we go, up the slide. It's not a very big slide. Let's see. Okay, and this is freezing. Well, let's see.
The pool opens at 9 a.m. and closes at 10 p.m. You can see how close our room is to the pool and the nice sitting area over here. So here is the hotel, super nice. Got some sitting area out here, with some benches and some greenery. And it was storming earlier, so they're pretty wet. But you got this really nice entrance over here. It looks like there's some nice nature areas over here. Thought I heard some ducks earlier, but we're right on the, uh, was it the Little Pigeon River? Some cool lights. Let's just walk over here and see the river. And there are river view rooms. We don't have one, we have a pool view room. But if you go around here, yeah, the little pigeon right down here. Looks like there's a walking trail on the other side, not connected to the hotel. It's really cool. I mean, you know, Pigeon Forge is very river associated, but some of these porches are just super nice. Like they're wraparound. Those are gonna be more of the you're gonna spend a bit more for those, though. So, now we're gonna head inside. This is part of the tapestry collection by Hilton, which appears to be more of like a boutique type hotel side of Hilton. And there you go, you got the Black Fox Lodge. Go into this beautiful lobby. The chandelier. You've got The Legend of Chief Black Fox. You can freeze the screen if you want to read this. It's got all the directions. And then you've got a uh, really nice lamp, like the, the lamp made of sticks. You've got some area maps with coupons. They're kind of out of those. And you've got the little cart area. They've got the traditional carts. Haven't seen those in a while. And then they've got the ones that I've seen at more places recently. Those weird shaped ones. And then really nice, big long couch with another lamp. And I love, love these pictures of the black box. Now looks like it doesn't really have a face. It's kind of mysterious. And then this really great seating area. I'm sure in the winter they have the fire going. Some nice tables. And then uh, barn doors. This probably go to the breakfast area in the morning, which we'll be covering that. Here's kind of the little shopping area. They've actually got Black Fox Lodge merchandise. That is awesome. And all sorts of stuff, just in case you forgot. And oh look, mugs. That's neat. And Black Fox t-shirts. That's cool, you don't see that a lot. And a bunch of other stuff, medicines, um, nail clippers, contact solution, that's good for me. Ooh, looky here, <laughs> postcards, that's cool. There's the pool view right there. And chips, ooh, they've actually got dirty chips. Those are delicious. And a few drinks. Looks like they've been cleaned out. And some microwave meals, which there is a microwave in the room. It's weird that they've got Walmart brand here. That's funny. Scream at Sicilian. Ooh, very good brand. The business center is right next to the front desk. Over here behind the sitting area, there's another sitting area. With the TV and another really cool chandelier. And then this is kind of the restaurant and bar area. So we're gonna get a bite to eat a little bit later. And yeah, there's the bar. Really nice couch here. I like these lamps, they're like lanterns. See that one a little bit better over there. We'll head back to see what we can see back here. There's a deer on the wall over there. 
another seating area. A lot of nice seating areas, cozy seating areas here. With fireplaces and a variety of kind of sitting areas and tables. And then you got these ones over here with the tree, that's the bar over there. And got some coffee over here. And I think this is the, this is the conference room areas. And you can schedule conferences here. It looks like they have tea. This might just be for breakfast in the morning. I don't think this is for all the time. And cool seats. I love the decor in here. It's a very nice hotel. And you have more conference rooms. These digital signs, the black box room. They have the great box room back there. And picture of the hotel. Oh, we can actually kind of get a glimpse if nothing's going on in here. Yeah, there's the conference room. There you go. You can kind of look inside. Looks like your, your traditional conference room. And there's the pool out there. Here is the Black Fox Conference Room. Normally we don't get to see into the conference rooms on our hotel tours. Make sure to check out our video on the Fox Den restaurant, which will include both dinner and breakfast reviews. Sorry pet owners, pets are not allowed at this hotel. Before we head down this hallway, I just want to take a look at some more of the restaurant. This is really nice. And now we're going to head down toward where the rooms are and kind of see like you got some public restrooms here. There's some nice pictures. And over here, got the elevator area, which we're on the first floor. Elevators don't look like anything special, but we might take a ride in them in a little bit. And then you got this really cool, it's got the all the stuff about the hotel on it. You've got current weather forecast, it'll tell you the menu at the restaurant and all sorts of different things. See, that's what the breakfast area looks like. Tell you about cheesecake, and that's cool. And then of course, every Pigeon Forge hotel has to have this section with all the different brochures of all the different stuff around here. And while we just focus on hotels and arcades now, we do have videos on Dollywood and Dollywood Splash Country from back in the day, and probably some other stuff on here that I just have to look, but yeah. We did go to Pirates, not for a video, but we went to the first showing of that, and it is top notch. I highly suggest it. So this is our hallway. This is what the hallways look like. Very nice. Look at that carpet pattern. They've got fox paw prints that you follow and leaves. It's a very fall inspired hotel, I feel like, which is my favorite season. And it's almost fall. Can't wait. Ready for the heat to die down. So we head down this hallway and we'll come to, well, first off, you do have a laundry room, which I guess we can check this out. I mean, just a laundry room, not that big of a deal, but we're showing everything. So yeah, just laundry room, you can use it, pay for it. I mean, even the tables in here are themed. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, and you probably shouldn't walk backwards and walking out of it, because you might run into the wall like I did. So now it's the fitness center. Very nice. We'll go in, but just look at these floor to ceiling windows cool pictures and more bathrooms. The, the, I've never seen this amount of public restrooms in a hotel. Not a hotel of this size. So now, fitness studio. There's towels over there, a water machine, all sorts of weights so you can get your workout on, a TV, giant mirrors. I mean, those are gigantic. Some places to sit while you do your weights, some um, treadmills. You can see while you're working out, you can look at the fire pit, got a stair stepper machine, a bike machine, and then another bigger weight machine. So yeah, just look at this. I'm very impressed that they have a Peloton in here. You know, I've seen the ads, but I've never actually seen a Peloton in real life. That's really neat that they actually have one here in the hotel. And randomly, because I'm weird, I really like those ceiling fans. Very nice. 
Very, very nice. So from the fitness center, you can also go outside to the pool area. Because the pool area is kind of in the center and the hotel kind of forms a U around it. This is the public restroom near the lobby. The women's restroom even includes free female hygiene products. So now to take you on the journey up the elevators, because everybody loves elevators, right? Look, it's right here. Ooh, the lights come on. We go in. Oh, we just, ooh, there's a thing in here. Let's go up to the top floor. Black Fox Lodge elevator number one. Check-in is at 4 p.m. with check-out at 11 a.m. Rooms include basic rooms with two queen beds, river view rooms with a balcony, river view rooms that include a sofa bed, the room we have which is a junior suite with two queen beds and a sofa bed, corner suites with a balcony, and two bedroom suites. This is my overall review of the hotel. I think this is a great hotel, very impressive. I loved staying here. The positives, the pool is great. There's a great slide out there that's just very fun to go down, shoots you out fast. The pool is not very deep, but it doesn't really need to be. The little mushroom thing that pours water down is a lot of fun. And the pool was cold too. That's probably from the storm that came through. The hotel, the theming is great. It just looks, so awesome and so nice and just almost like a lodge the food is great here I mean that's a whole separate video we're doing on the food the dinner and the breakfast but the food was amazing and we gave it a good rating you'll see when you watch that video the rooms were spacious you got a couch you got two TVs you got very comfortable beds the beds were very comfortable the bathroom's nice. The shower, you could actually change the shower head to different settings. The coffee here is great, whether the coffee in the room or the coffee at the breakfast. The staff is excellent. Excellent staff here. Very attentive, very nice, very kind. Very impressed with the staff. The exercise room even, I, I don't normally talk about, you know, no, don't normally really pay much attention to an exercise room at a hotel because when you're on vacation do you really want to exercise uh, but they have a peloton in there which is like the high quality type stuff i was very impressed with that there's two public restrooms which sounds minor but it's a pretty big deal in a hotel and they're nice too nice nice public restroom so Negatives, I don't really have any, except that the people who were above us, in the room above us, were very loud. You could hear, so the sound, um, sound dampening in the rooms is not necessarily the best. We could hear them, they were very heavy footed. We could hear their steps. And that's really the only negative I have of this hotel. I can't think of one other thing. And you do have to pay for breakfast. That, that, that's a negative too. Instead of providing the free complimentary breakfast, you do have to pay. But that seems to be at a higher quality hotel. The higher quality the hotel, the more likely you're gonna have to pay for breakfast. And this is a very high quality hotel. So if you're coming to, to Pigeon Forge, it's very convenient to most of the major attractions. You're like three miles from Dollywood. You're a mile from the island. You can walk to the conference center, the Lacante, I think is how it's pronounced. It's just right next to this hotel. So overall, this hotel gets a five out of five seals of approval, especially since it, there are really not any negatives. But yeah, five out of five seals of approval. So I give this hotel a five out of five. Once again, like Alex said, I have no negatives. 
Uh, I'm very critical on hotels and I look at every little detail. So this gets a five out of five uh, seals, of, seals of approval from both of us. There's a birdie down there. It's running away. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What was your favorite aspect of this hotel? Let us know in the comments. If you liked this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is in the description, or you can click on one of the buttons below to give through YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.